Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today we are checking out Akira, the beta firmware update for the Movi, and the new updated app. Here's the new app architecture, and as you can see, it's set up so to be very intuitive and very easy to use. At the top, I have my statuses. Notice I have one warning. If I tap on that, that takes me to the status page, and it shows me that it's trying to find satellites right now. Go back. And I'm going to go into my configuration. Notice in configuration, I have two new features. We'll talk about these in just a moment. We have the new time lapse feature, and we have a beta targeting feature. But first, I want to just go to the ones that you might be familiar with already. In majestic mode, we have the attributes for my window and smoothing for pan and tilt. We have the tuning commands here. And notice with any of these attributes, I'm going to general. And here we have the trim for roll and pan. Any of these attributes, if I want to go in and I want to change something, I can just tap on it. And I have one of two ways of navigating or changing the attribute. I can tap on it, or I can just simply roll and change the attribute that way. One of the new features in Akira is this time-lapse window. This allows me to set up Movi to capture motion over time. And to do that, I can use this joystick here, which will move it back and forth. As you can see, I can change the tilt. I can clear it, go back to its neutral setting. What I'm going to do is I can do it by hand, too. So I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to, let's say maybe we'll start there. And I'm going to add that. I'll bring it midway, mark that, and maybe I want to finish over here with just a slight tilt. And I'll add that feature, and I'll be done. And now it's going to give me a graphic representation of that movement. Now I can go in now, and I'm going to preview it. And you can see that it's going to go to one, and over time, It will now do that movement. Now I can go into the setup window and now I can set up all the different attributes uh, that I want for a specific sequence. One of the really nice things they did with this uh, update to the app is say for instance you go in and you look at this target clip length and you want to understand a little better what that is, in the upper right hand corner, I can tap on an info window and it will tell you exactly what that attribute is. This is the target page and as you can see here, it is in beta. So uh, it is highly recommended that you test this before trying it out. And it's important to note that a couple of conditions have to be met uh, in order to have this work successfully. You should be doing a compass calibration and the preconditions here must be met. So we must have strong GPS, good position lock, and strong satellite coverage. The idea of this is that we could use something like the Mimic and be able to track something in space. It locks onto those coordinates and Movi, regardless of where you move it around, will stay locked onto that coordinate. In addition to the targeting and time-lapse features, Akira also includes hyper or high performance stabilization. And what this allows us to do is get better performance out of our Movi using longer lenses. We're going to take a look at all of these features in future blogs in more detail. It's also important to note that if you update your Movi to Akira, you also want to update your Mimics and your Movi controllers. Well, that concludes our look at the beta Akira firmware for the Movi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.